Thank you. Thank God. If you'd like to well, sit here, please. I get dressed up, but they took me behind my belt. Mr. Anna, Patrick, please. Me. Anna. Anna, Mr. look Patrick. at me. There you go. Story right from the beginning. Off you go. All right, I'll tell you anything you want to know first. No, no, no. First, no, first, I want to tell you Julian Jerome knows who I am. He holds me responsible for his father's death, and he will kill Anna and Robin just to get to me. And I heard him say it, and I know he'll do it. You have to believe this. I heard him. Aren't you just covering up your own guilt? No, love. It's true. Well, the truth is that you killed Duke. That's the truth. <laughs> Anna, look. No. Anna is I safe. Duke. Robin is safe. Let's hear your story, Padgett, if there is one. <laughs> All right, fine. Well, I guess we should start at the warehouse then, huh? I didn't die in any explosion. Anna! 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 Stay here with me, honey. Stay here with me. Stop! Check with the WPP, they'll verify it. I think we should get one thing straight around here. I'm a long way from accepting you and Lavery as being one and the same. Now, what I want to hear from you at this particular point is specifics. What else do you recall about that year? Fine. I recall anger. I recall isolation. I recall many a morning when I woke up and couldn't think of a reason to stay alive. I don't think I could explain to you what it's like to have the people you love ripped out of your life. I don't think I, I, don't think I have the words to let you understand what it's like to get up every morning and write a letter to someone you will never be able to send it to. To know that the people you love are just right over there and you can never, never speak to them. Now you're pushing your luck, Paget, so I'd be careful. What do you want from me? I want you to answer the questions. Fine, you want specifics, huh? All right. I remember the night we said goodbye to each other in New York. I remember telling Robin about the witness protection program. I remember being excited about our new identities. Do you remember that? Look, uh... These so-called recollections are all very nice. I want to hear more about the confession, about the murder. <laughs> what is the murder? For God's sake, I'm Duke! Go on. If I ever tried to approach Anne and speak to her, I would have put her and Robin's life in danger. My only choice was to stay with the WPP, on the move. Then what? Which I did for a year. They constantly thought someone was on to us. We had to move every week, sometimes twice a week. In the middle of one of our jaunts, I read a newspaper that said that Victor Jerome had died. And finally, finally, I thought there might be a chance. Meaning? Meaning that if Victor Jerome was dead, there might be an end to the vendetta the mob held against me. Well, um, that would have been the perfect time, don't you think, to... Have a nice, quiet visit between your wife and your stepdaughter. Oh, stop. Just let me finish what I'm saying, will you, please? Are you avoiding this question here? Because if you are, then we can do I'm this. I'm trying fight. to answer the question. Mm. The day we landed, 
that day. I saw Anna at the airport, and I froze. Kennedy, yes. Yeah. make up my mind whether I wanted to risk going over and talking to you and maybe touching you. And finally, when I had decided I was going to give it a shot, Julian walked up, as he always did. You gonna buy this? Not yet. Come on. What? Come on. You know, we danced all around it. I want a little bit of the truth here. Something that I can sink my teeth into. Now, you were told, you found out, Victor died. Even the WPP people said that you were safe. A good moment to make contact with Anna. Reveal yourself, right, then. Have you not been listening to me? Oh, if Julian Jerome was there with two of his father's men, I didn't know what he was going to do. My only choice was to stay with the WPP men and get back on the plane. And I almost did. God. What led to you? Because I found a way out. I took the money we were carrying, a lot of WPP money. There were some phony passports in there, some momentums of you and Robin, and I disappeared. That the only thing that was keeping me apart from you was the fact that I was Duke Lavery. If I could change that, if I could finish being that person, I could come back to you. So I learned of a clinic in Brazil. Yeah. Which yes, clinic? The clinic that you and Anna came to. The clinic that Julian came to at the same time. Uh, what name were you using? I was using an alias, Daniel Lund. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can tell you what Anna was wearing. And again, I wanted to talk to you. Just... And Julian showed up. As always, so I tried to warn you, I slipped a note under your door, just like I slipped a note into the Wellington bars. What do you need to hear from me? All right, fine, I'll go on. When Anna and Julian left, something had changed between them. I didn't understand. Julian had somehow ingratiated himself to Anna. I, I thought I had to warn her. So I called, twice. Julian answered both times. I thought I was gonna go out of my mind, so I left the clinic before I was healed. I collapsed, you can check this, because some very good people took care of me in the favela. When I got better, I came back. And I met Austin, and I found a way to come back to Port Charles. As Jonathan Padgett. As Jonathan Padgett. Why didn't you tell us about this? I've been trying to tell you about this. I've been insulted, interrupted, suspected of everything because I'm trying to get Anna alone to tell her who I am when Julian isn't there. Well, you were alone with me. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't know if I could trust you. Julian's working for you now. You act like you trust him. I hear Anna and Robert talking like, I don't know, you and the Wellington Collection, this isn't the Sean I know. Duke would not have waited this long to I come back I didn't to me. wait this long. I have been trying to get to you from the beginning. 